let's start about uh, uh, the study of future perfect continuous tense. What is future perfect continuous tense? Uh, future perfect continuous tense is used to express the ongoing action that will be completed in future before a certain time. Definition of verb tells that the subject started its work in past but will continue to complete in coming time is called future perfect continuous tense. Formula or structure subject plus shall or will have been plus present participle or in the form of verb plus time reference. Object plus time reference. For example, I shall have been traveling around the world for five years. We shall have been enjoying the holiday by the end of this month. He will have been enjoying the holiday. She will have been performing duties since 2017. You will have been making progress by leaps and bounds. The doctor will have been treating patients since 2018. The children will have been learning lessons in the classroom for two hours. Fatima will have been teaching English grammar since morning. Now, how to change it into inter uh, interrogation negation? Negation, just you have to put not or aid not after the auxiliary verb will or shall. It, For example, it will not have been raining all day long. See here, look here, we have added not after auxiliary verb will and before have, have been. So keep in your mind that we do not use it will have not, it will be incorrect, or it will have been not, it will be incorrect. We add not after auxiliary verb shall or will. For example, another example, she will not have been learning trained for two weeks. Similarly, for the question sentences, keep shall or will before the subject. Will it have been raining all day long? Will she have been learning praying for two weeks? 